All right, you're back for more spiker stot. Well, let's get right back to it. So, Jen is gonna bid first. She's got three bucks, I've got two bucks, but I've got my special powers. Let's see what comes out in this second month of spring, or second week, or whatever. Uh, da, da, da. Another fireman, ooh, a level three fireman. A lighthouse, which is simply worth one point. Very, very simple. Uh, another one of these controls, and now, remember these were the, oh, did, I thought, didn't I get one of these at the beginning? Or did we fight for one and I ended up not being able to get it? I forget now. Yep, there it is. Yeah, there was the first one I you know, missed out on. So, if somebody gets this, it might be worth two points, five points, or nine points if they can get more uh, you know, uh, counting houses. Let's see, and then the, for the special stuff, the fish market, once, oh, once in a game you can purchase, this is awesome. You, you, I mean, with this, even if it's gonna cost you three or four or five or who knows what, you get it for free. Insurance. Each time a fire occurs, you may avoid negative points. Ah, but by paying two, well, that's kind of tough. Now, the first fire that's going to hit us is only going to, somebody's going to gain a point, somebody's going to lose a point. The final fire that hits us, somebody is going to gain four points and someone's going to lose four points. So this is effective. If you hold on to this till the end of the game when you have more money, if you give up on the fireman race, this is worth four points. So actually, that's pretty, that's, that's not bad. And then finally, a fire. Okay. Fire time, everybody. So we stop for a second and we, we have a fire. We check. Jen's got one, two, three, four firemen. I've got one, two, three, four, five firemen. My firemen uh, contribute the most to stopping the fire. And so the city will reward me. I get, this is a little, little fire, one point, and Jen loses one point. Okay, so that's gone, and then we continue to fill up, and it's a contract. Okay, so I've, I've, I've scored the first, but it was not, it's, it was basically I scored two points on that spread. And we're still very close on firemen, but you know, fortunately I was in the lead when that one came up, so that worked out well for me. Now if I wanted, I could use my squad leader right now, and once per game I can double my bonus fire. So I would get, um, I, instead of getting one point, I would get two points. I'm gonna hold on to this, I'm gonna, I wanna use this when I, you know, on, on the bigger fires. So, we're gonna hold on to that for a while, and hopefully that won't be a mistake. But that gives Jen hope, you know, the fact that I'm not using this. Okay, anyway, so, it's bidding time. Jen's got three bucks, I've got two bucks. Let's see what's out here. Um, da, 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 let's see here. I think Jen will start by, what the heck, she'd like to get in on the accounting house action. And, or well, she, she's got three bucks. <sighs> See, okay, as first player, you're, like I said, you're at a disadvantage. You have to put yourself out there first. But one advantage you have as being first player is you can be the first to grab one of these. Now, chances are, if she grabs this fish market, which is the best of these things, well, arguably it is, because you get one thing for free later on. But if she does it, by being the first there, provide these other ones get claimed, she'll have to pay three bucks for that thing. And so she'd have to pay three bucks to save three bucks later. It doesn't make much sense to grab that. She's gonna wait. She's gonna see if I try and jump after it first and if I, if I do the math or not. See, it'd be much, yeah. Okay. I, I'm just gonna come right out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna after my fireman. I'm gonna hold on to my fire. And then she says, oh, you, you tipped your gun. You're gonna have to pay for that. And now I, see, I got Mason in the hole. I got my super things here. So I'm not worried about anything really. I am going to, I am gonna go on ahead and try and take the fish market. Is that right? No, 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 no. Oh. I'm actually going to exercise my coffee break. I'm gonna take a break. I'm gonna pass and see what Jen does. And so now suddenly the, you know, the worm has turned. She's only got two more and I've got three more to place. And so now she's on the defense. I think she's gonna double down and try and ensure she gets that fireman by making it too expensive for me to go first. And so now I gotta go again. I could take another coffee break and push her even further. But I'm gonna go on ahead. I'm gonna try and grab this contract. Boink. And now Jen's got one more. Hmm. Okay, she's, she's got a pretty good shot 
at getting this fireman, but bear in mind, I get to place two more after her. So she puts out one more, but then I put these two down, I pretty much raise the price so much, if I want to put both these workers, I can still make sure I get that fireman. She's gonna go for the fish market. And that's, I was hoping she wouldn't. I was hoping, I was hoping she was gonna let that go and then I was gonna get the fish market and I was gonna get it on the cheap, but she did take it. And so that didn't work out as well as I'd hoped. Okay, so now, I am definitely not gonna let her get that super fireman for super cheap. In fact, if I put another one down, that means for her to get, I mean, I, I'll never, this fireman suddenly be the most contesting in the world, but for her to get the fireman, it would cost her three. It would cost her all the money she's got and she would not get that fish market. But she would take the lead on fireman. Now, of course, we've had our spring fire. We're not gonna have another fire till summer. And there's gonna be more firemen that come up over time. <sighs> on the flip side, I can just get a victory point. Straight up for one dollar. She can't stop me. I could just get a victory point for a dollar. Or I could come up here and raise her and so she'd have to pay two bucks for that fish market. Or I could make sure she'd have to pay two bucks for that. So I'm, oh, these are all valid things to do. Let's see. Now, if, you know, if, if I could get that insurance for one, I wouldn't mind letting her get the lead on firemen because I'd have insurance for later when it would really hurt. But then I wouldn't have used my squad leader. I think I'm going to... I'm going to keep fighting. I'm going to be the best fireman in the world. Okay, that was my bid. All right, and so now, so nobody got the insurance. Nobody got this lighthouse. Let's go. I can't afford it. I only have two bucks. This costs five. Jen can't afford it. She only has three bucks. This costs four. Jen can afford it now. She's got three bucks. Does she want to spend everything she's got and get that fireman? Because if she doesn't, I'll get it for one. Because I've taken those spaces because I used a, my coffee break. Is that means she can't get that fish market. And currently, she's going to get that fish market for cheap. Does she want to give me that fireman cheap so she can get that fish market cheap? I think so. Yep, she's going to pass. This guy, it costs two. He's going to pass. Suddenly, boom, it only costs one. For one dollar, I have taken a very, very healthy lead in fireman. That cost me one dollar. Coming over here, Jen, sure, she'll buy the counting house for a dollar. Scored her two points and maybe a lot more. Coming over here. I only have one dollar left. I can't afford this contract, which is too bad, because it'd be nice to start actually getting some points. Remember, we gotta score points in this game. It's very easy to get caught up in everything else. And now Jen, only cost her one, she will definitely spend it to get the fish market. So she spent one buck to basically get three or four or five bucks, who knows how high, later on for free with that fish market. Okay, that was pretty good for her. So that was everything. We didn't get any ships, so we didn't get any new stuff. So we skip all that, and at the end of our turn, we get two bucks, Jen gets, so I got three, Jen's got three. Okie doke, new turn, and I will be first. Let's see what comes out. A ship with, ah, oh, the very rare hemp, which neither of us have any use for, and we don't have contracts, we don't have, so you know we'd have to store it, but Jen's got lots of storage. A fireman, a little lowly level one, a contract for glass and hemp. Suddenly this hemp is a little bit more attractive if you can get both of them. A alf, an alft trog, another contract for a variety of things. A theater, just straight up two points, nothing fancy, just two points. And a ship with one, two, three. Ooh, the textiles and the saffron and the green. Let's see. I could use that saffron and that tea to make some more money, so I'll have more money next turn. So that's very attractive to me. Jen, so that's attractive to her actually, interestingly. She has no use for those three, she has no immediate use for them. Probably the best thing she could do is trade them in to get something else from the stock. Because she can't convert them to points, she has no contracts for them. But that means it would behoove her to put a thing on there, to be the first one up there, so that, it, so that basically I can't get it. So as first player, if I don't get it now, I can't get that thing. She can take it away. So even though it's probably gonna cost me an arm and a leg, at least I'll have a chance of getting it. And now, Jen says, yeah, you know what? That's gonna cost you an arm and a leg. She's gonna take this contract. And so now that at least costs me two. We'll see if somebody takes that theater and it costs three because we both only have three bucks. 
Currently that costs me two. So my next bid, um, let's see. A contract in a ship that could help you hit that contract. What the heck, I'll go for it. And Jen says, Jen's gonna keep on trucking, trying to work her way up the fireman ladder. And oh, look at it. So maybe I'll get the ship and the contract that it could help fulfill. And Jed says, hold on a second there, buddy. Hold your horses. Actually, hold on a second. You know, but instead of just declaring, I am going to take another coffee break and see what she does. Just gonna use it. Um, so off goes the coffee break. And so I pass in, so now Jen has to commit to something. She will raise me on that contract. And so now I will raise her again. And so now she's only got one more, so she's gonna go in on the ship and I will raise her on the ship. And now it's over, but if I wanted, I could place these gray guys. I could actually raise the prices, but I'm gonna save them for later. I've used up my coffee break. I don't have that anymore. So I'm gonna save this and let's just run through this now. Let's see, nobody wanted the theater for two points. Hello, gotta score points to win this game. Okay, Jen could pay two bucks and get this ship. And then, but then, you know, and then she'd have one buck left over, she could get her fireman, and she'd still be behind on fireman, but she'd be clawing her way back up. But then she wouldn't have enough to get this contract. Nope, she's gonna pass. All right, and so now I will take the ship for one dollar. And so I've got a ship with a hemp. And now Jen, she will go on ahead and pay one for the fireman, the very brave fireman. Okie doke, which puts her at um, six versus my eight. Alrighty. And now coming over here to the interesting one. That would cost me three. I cannot afford three. I only have two bucks left. Jen has two bucks. She could get this contract, and if she doesn't, if she doesn't take it, then I, I, so she is, she is gonna take this contract. This cost her two bucks, she's broke, and I didn't get the contract. I got the hemp off the ship, but I didn't get the contract. Okay, and now coming over here. I've got two bucks left, I can afford my ship. I saved the money, I spent all my money, and I get this ship of colorful cubes. So I got two ships this turn, and Jen, she has no money left over because she got the contract from me. And um, not, she could use her fish mark to get it for free, but she's gonna save that fish mark for something bigger. And so she did not get this contract. And that's that. So, now this turn, um, there are, let's see, so I got a whole bunch of stuff here. I think I'm gonna store this hemp for later. And I will convert this saffron into a dollar. So I've scored a dollar. I'll convert this T into a dollar. Scored another dollar. And now I've got a problem. I've got this pink textile that I can do nothing with. I was hoping to get the contract because then I could store this textile and I could put, I, if I had gotten this contract that Jen hadn't gotten from me, I could permanently put it here and deliver on half the contract. That means I can't take it off. This means I've delivered half of my contract and later on if I ever get a piece of glass, I could deliver the other half and score eight points. But since Jen got it from me, I've got two cubes left over and only one place to store it. So I got a choice. Do I throw one of these away or I could turn them both in and get a dollar. But, and you know, I might do that except these are the rare commodities. There are only three of each of these in the game. And just to throw them away to get one dollar is crazy. Wow. Okay, well I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna toss the hand. Oh. oh, but no, here's the other problem. If I put the hemp, if I toss the hemp and it comes over into the stock, later on, um, Jen could take two things out, or you could take three things out of here, and oh, by the way, Jen, by, I forgot, has a glass. She has fulfilled half of this contract. Well, she can do that anytime though. She doesn't have to do it right away. She could do it later. And, but she could, uh, if she gets something else, she could then convert those, get the other thing, and then complete this contract and score eight points. So, I have to toss one, but I can't toss this gray, which means this pink is just gone. Oh, that's painful. Jen, actually, she paid a lot for it. She, um, okay, very well played. I, maybe I should have, I, 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 well, anyway, I didn't. That's the end of it. 
At the end of the year, everybody gets two bucks. I'm getting, so I've got four bucks at the starting of the next round because I, I converted some money. Jen's only got two. She is the start player. Let's see what comes out. A harbor master, a rope maker, which turns hemp, turns into money. I've got some hemp. A ship with, one, two, three. Two carpets and saffron. This harbor master, by the way, permanently upgrades. Normally, you can trade in three to get something from the stock. With this harbor master, you can trade in two. So that's very nice. And then the extras, a contract, just one saffron, which is sitting over here in the stock, scores four points. A sh another ship. Oh my goodness. One, two, three. And finally, a contract for sa an easy contract, a contract for saffron and. Tea, although of course neither of us have those. Although this ship has saffron and tea on it. Alrighty, that's what's out. Jen's gonna make the opening bid. Remember her, the trick she's got up her sleeve is the fish market. She can get one thing for free. And the I've got these two guys who I can drive up the prices and um, control stuff. Let's see. I think it's time for Jen to use her fish market. She is gonna get something for free. She could definitely, if she takes that ship, even though it would get pushed up to three, she can guarantee she gets it for free and she would get some goods. I think that's what she's gonna do. Her first placement is gonna to be to not lock in this ship. And maybe she'll have to use her fish market to get it cheaper, maybe she won't. Okay, my first placement. I guess I'm gonna try and get this other ship. No, I'm not. I'm gonna actually use, well actually wait a minute. Now these two reds, I can't do, yeah, I can. Wait, can I? Can I? Can I? What can I do? These two reds, I can't do anything with them. I can't store them. But I'd be able to, if I get these two reds, I could convert them into a dollar. So I'd be getting, this is basically two dollars on this ship for me. If I spend one dollar, I'll, I'll profit of it for two. So, if, but what are the chances I'm going to get it for one? Uh, but I've got four bucks. I can spend a lot of money. And the other thing, I don't want Jen to get this because she's got all that storage potential. Oh, let's see. I think, the other thing too, there's now this contract up here. If Jen gets this, she'll be able to fulfill it immediately because she's getting the goods she needs. I don't want to do that, so I'm gonna grab this contract. Okay, and so now Jen, she's got three more placements. I guess she's gonna grab the other contract. So all that stuff's gone now. Finally, there's some, con somebody might score some points in this game. Who would've thunk it? I've got three more, and none of these have even been touched. Uh, so I gotta start going in on those. I'd like to get that rope maker. Yeah, I definitely want that rope maker. I want that rope maker because I've got this hemp. I don't want to give it to Jen. And if I, I get three bucks, that hemp is worth three bucks. However, I don't want to be the first to go on there because Jen will drive the price up. So I'm gonna use my gray guy. He's gonna go there. And um, you know, I'm, I'm using, I mean, I'm basically, I'm throwing him away, but hopefully that'll mean I can get that three bucks on the cheap. So now Jen, She's like, well, she doesn't want to raise the price on nothing. She does want this ship as well. And I will use my other gray to raise the price on her. And she's like, ah! And now all of a sudden she's only got one guy left and I've got three guys to play. So I am gonna run the show here. And so now she realizes all, the best she can do is just drive the price up on me. She knows I want that rope maker, so she's not gonna let it be cheap. No, no, that doesn't help because I'll just put something after her. Oh, that means she could buy the rope maker out from under me. <sighs> yeah, she is gonna scare me by buying that rope maker. Even though she doesn't have any hemp, she gets that rope maker with her money. So now I'm like, okay, well, nope, I'm gonna have to come out here. But no, no she's not gonna do that because she knows I'm going for that rope maker anyway. So that is, no, yeah, that's the thing. So she might buy that now. If she doesn't though, I'm going to. Oh, but what I could do is, so it costs her two. If I put another guy down here, it costs her three. She won't be able to afford it, and I could guarantee. But now I'm having to give up two of my workers, three of my workers, to get that three dollars. Is that worth it? Money is everything in this game. And I'll get that, I'll get that three dollars for only one dollar. So it's one dollar and two workers to get three dollars. Is that a good trade? Because if I don't put this on here, Jen might buy it. She might not. Because if she doesn't, she could get this ship and this contract. And potentially, or this ship and that contract. So she might not, I'm gonna take a gamble that she's not gonna buy that because she wants the goods. And so I'll come over here and I'll just get Harbor Master for one. No one's even gonna fight me on it. And I'll drive up the price on this ship. Okay. No, I won't. Yes, I will. Okay. 
Well, I gotta put it somewhere. I could drive pipe it myself, but that's kind of pointless. That's the thing. What do I want Jen? So Jen is gonna be able to take one of these. What do I, what, and by me putting this in one or the other, I could encourage her to take one or the other. So what's gonna hurt me? Now if she takes this, it's really worth nothing to her because she has no hemp. But more hemp will come out. And this will give her an advantage later. It gives me an advantage now. Bird in the hand, two in the bush. But then that means she gets all this, which she could store, and she could convert to other things. Because just about everything's up there. She could complete her con... Well, no, she couldn't. She couldn't complete that contract. But she would get this contract if she wants it. Because that's co this is going to be free for her, because I know she's got her thing. And that would cost her two... And then that means she would not have enough to get that contract. But she'd get, a, she'd get enough goods to be able to basically mix things up and do a lot of stuff. I think I want her to stay away from that rope maker. So I'm going to make it too expensive for her to buy that. Okay, we're done. Off we go. I pay one. I get a Harbor Master for a screaming deal. I can trade in two for one now. Very nice. Coming over here. Gray is not going to buy it. He's just gone. Now, Jen, she can't afford it. I priced her out. This guy, of course, is um, going to bow out, at which point I get my rope maker for one, which, of course, is what I always wanted. A rope maker for one dollar. Hooray! And, um, right. And now Jen, she's got a choice. She can pay two bucks for this. She only has two bucks. And then she can get her ship for free. She will have made a ton of goods. In fact, she'll have so many goods she won't. Will she have room to storm? Let's see. Where did her glass go? Why is this glass up here? I think I, it was down here and I moved over there. That was kind of stupid of me. Got a little confused. I'm sure I'll make a note of that later in the video. So she's got storage to put this here. And she'll, she'll have one, two, three. She can convert. Where that? Oh, but she needed this contract to store all these goods. Oh my gosh. Wow. I got that contract which I can afford even though I can't fulfill it. So suddenly now, I think her picking up all those goods is not that big a deal. But I think at this point, money is more important to her. So she's gonna pass. And now, I'm not quite sure. Does that mean with that gray guy, could I buy that? I'm, yeah, I'm still kind of new to some of these cards. Let me look up the gray card. What is that? That's the, uh, da, da, da. I forgot the name of the card. It's the, not the coffee break. It's like the, oh, where are you? So many cards. There's a lot of cards that came in this expansion. A lot of really cool new cards. Oh, the storekeeper. Right. Uh, when you purchase this card, you take two gray workers and demand. You may place one or both workers, which I've done. However, if you place a gray worker, he does not return to you during phase three. Uh, as soon as a gray worker has been removed from the game, discard the storekeeper. I think that means he's only for the purpose of driving up costs. I can't actually buy with him. He doesn't belong to me. So basically, wow, nobody got this ship. And so a whole bunch more stuff just went into the stock. Okay, coming over here, Jen will use her fish market and get this very colorful ship for free. And she could have gotten that other ship for free too, but she wanted the variety. All right, and so she could store everything. She's got enough space to store everything if she wants to. And now I've got two bucks left over. I go on a, do I want to take that con? I only did this so that Jen couldn't get the contract. I have no way to fulfill that contract. Do I want to spend my only $2 or do I want to save them for next turn? I think I'm just going to let that contract go. It was just a blocking move for Jen. And now Jen has one buck, so she will get this contract and that cost her one buck. By the way, I realize I'm going so fast, I probably mixed up sometimes and you know, uh, not paid for things and whatnot, but you guys get the basic idea of how it plays. All right, so now I didn't bring in any goods, Jen did. She's got to figure out what she's going to do with them. So she could just store them all, or, and, you know, including this, so this is what she's got. I think it's time to start getting some points. She's going to take both of these rubbers and, convert, and you know, put them in the stock and get four points. One, two, three, four. Now, she could take these three very common, since she wanted to use them for that contract that I threw away, I think she's going to take her three, and remember using the three for one, she's going to trade them all into the stock, and take this one textile, which she will then use to fulfill this contract, and she scored four more points. Now, she doesn't score these points immediately. These points score at the end of the game. 
because there are cards in the expansion that would let somebody take these uh, things back. There's like a thief card or something like that. So this doesn't score immediately, but she's sitting on four points more than likely. And if she can get a piece of hemp, she's sitting on eight. So that was that. At the end of the turn, we get our income. So Jen's going to start her turn with three. I'm going to start my turn with four. I'm going to be the first bidder. It's going to be, I think this might be the last of summer, a ship, a fireman, another ship, another ship. Oh my gosh, where are all these ships before? And a big fireman, two big firemen, and the bank. The bank is awesome. This is not an expansion card, even though it's in English. This is a base card. One additional dollar every turn. This is huge because we still got a lot of turns. That's a lot of money right there. And I'm the first to bid. And I've got four bucks. Forget about it. I'm definitely taking that bank. However much it costs, I'm taking it. And so, and now Jen, this is Jen's chance to get back into the fireman game before we have another fire. But, oh, oops, I didn't fill up the ships. Might want to do that too. That's kind of important. Alrighty. Hey, there's that hemp that everyone's looking for. And this ship up here has some common stuff. Oh, two pieces of glass, two rare pieces of glass. Um, but nobody got that uh, ability to turn glass into money. But I want that hemp to turn into money. Jen wants that hemp to finish this contract. So this ship is going to be hotly contested. The fireman, you know, if Jen doesn't take the fireman, I won't take the fireman. But if she takes one, I got to take one to keep my lead. And then there's two other ships in play as well. Who knows what's going to happen? Because I'm going to stop right there. This game is getting too heavy for me to keep going. And, uh, you know, this has been quite a long video already for what is at its heart a very simple, fast little game. So anyway, I'm going to stop right there. And if you guys are here some final thoughts, you can push the button that's on the screen in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Thanks, everybody.